hey guys welcome back to next gen blogger and in this video i want to show you how you can apply the dual distort effect in vscc free video editor so we are back with the distort effects and today we will see the dual distort effect now dual distort effect is actually widely used among youtubers i'm pretty sure you must have seen this a youtuber saying something funny and uh, then kind of distorting their face so you can do that kind of stuff using dual distort effect so without further delay let's get started and see how you can use this effect now as you can see i have already imported my demo video in the editor so this is my demo video right here now to apply the dual distort effect double click on the video in the editor now go to video effects go to transforms select distort and click on okay now look inside the distort effect settings which is present inside the properties window and as you can see the first option is type and uh, in type currently faceted glass is selected so click on the drop down list and select twirl now the options related to the twirl distort effects are angle delta zoom and square and using this options we will apply the twirl distort effect so first of all what i really want to do is i want my twirl distort effect to appear at a particular portion in my demo video so currently the dual distort effect is applied to the entire duration of my demo video as you can see right here so let me just shorten the duration of my dual distort effect at a particular portion like this perfect now if i just quickly play the video for you watch the portion where the dual distort effect is applied so right here as you can see my cursor is exactly on top of the dual distort effect but there is nothing happening on the screen because we have not we have not done anything related to this three values angle delta zoom and square so let's just start let me just change the angle delta value from 0 to somewhere around uh, maybe 0.4 and um, 0.4 and now if i just quickly play the video for you notice the dual distort effect on the screen so this is the dual distort effect with a 0.4 angle delta and if i just keep on increasing suppose the angle delta is 0.9 and again let me just quickly play the video for you so this is dual distort effect with a angle delta of 0.9 now as you can see this is constant parameter value i can change this to linear parameter change and uh, i will have two values 0.9 and 0.9 so let me just change that to 0 and 0.9 so now if i just quickly play the video for you watch the dual distort effect unfold on the screen let me just increase the duration of my distort effect now so that you can see what is actually happening now watch the video on the screen so this is the dual distort effect gradually kind of unfolding on this screen now let's look at the second option we have the zoom option present right here and uh, currently the zoom option inside the zoom option zero is there so let me change that to 1 and uh, again watch the video on the screen nothing really happens you just slightly kind of zoom in a little bit so now if i just quickly change it to 9 now let's watch the video on the screen so a zooming in is happening along with the uh, 12 distort effect let me just increase the duration of my distort effect and now again watch the video on the screen so zooming in is happening again with the dual distort effect so this was angle delta zoom and finally we have square where currently false is selected so if i just quickly change that to true and now if i just quickly play the video for you as you can see this is the dual distort effect
you can also reverse the values so if i just um, quickly set the square to false and if i just quickly change the zoom to zero let me just reverse the values to one and zero that's it and let me just start off or place my distort effect from the beginning now let me just quickly play the video from the start so my video starts off with the distort effect and then it you know plays smoothly again let me just quickly um, maybe increase the duration of my distort effect and again let me just play the video from the start as you can see my video is starting off with a distort effect and then it kind of starts playing smoothly so you can do this kind of stuff using the twirl distort effect mostly you can do um, you know distort your face with the twirl distort effect for just a split second of maybe one or two seconds and uh, that would provide the you know required effect um, which you need but uh, anyway play around this options guys angle delta zoom and square and um, you will kind of uh, figure other stuff out as well i'm pretty sure of that do share with me your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see in the next video till then thanks for watching